Greetings, my friends. So much going on. I'm giving you a bonus video this weekend. Um, how many of you think this sounds familiar to you at all? Here's what the video is about today. The largest retailer on the entire planet has now, in two of its stores, just recently opened up, as you can see it in the thumbnail uh, next to my, to the left of my picture in the video here, that it's a place, it's a machine where you scan your right hand to be able to buy and sell. Hmm, scan your right hand to be able to buy and sell. And also, look at what's going on with forehead temperature. How many times you see, or how many times have you had your temperature taken on your forehead? It's, it's the norm now. People think it's cool, they think it's cool in the game. They say, hey, temperature forehead scans or the bomb diggity, they're the new deal. So, let's get this straight. They will receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead. Hmm. And when you've got a mark in your right hand or your forehead, what do you do with that mark? You scan it. Hmm. Hand scanner, largest retailer on the planet Earth to buy and sell the right hand and the forehead being scanned continuously. Hmm. It's all lining up, my friends, all setting up the mark of the beast. And by the way, the largest retailer on planet Earth, we know who they are, Amazon. They have two brick and mortar stores out west, and they already have these scanners installed, getting everybody used to it. Of course, the Mark of the Beast is not installed yet. That won't happen till after the imminent rapture. But it's showing you exactly where we are. It's showing you that we are on the threshold, my friends, of eternity, and very few Christians can see it. We are right on the doorstep of getting out of this wicked, filthy, festering, cesspool, hellhole we live in. I despise this planet, man. I can't wait to go home. And... I tell the Lord all the time, you know, I've been very sick lately. I've been very, I've been ill for a lot of years, but it's really getting bad lately. And I tell the Lord, I tell my wife, it doesn't matter to me. I'm ready to go at any time. If I ever leave this earth before the rapture, praise the Lord, I'm going to be in heaven already. I would never trade places with anybody to get out of this place. I'd love to be able to be raptured. That would be tremendous. Whenever the Lord is ready to take me, I'm ready to go. I, I loathe this place with a passion, this place, the stench. This wicked earth just wafts up to the nostrils of God himself and makes him sick. I just can't stand it anymore. And again, the largest retailer on planet earth, that's what you need. You need the backing of the big boys, the big ones, to get it out there. And and you think this is going to stop in two stores out west? It's going to spread like wildfire. He's already talking about getting stores built everywhere else as well. This is big, big stuff, my friends. And again, this game of your forehead, <clears throat> check your temperature. Is exposing you, indoctrinating you, getting you ready for when you got that mark in your right hand or your forehead. You won't think twice about it. And I've told you before, I believe that the government will have people on their teeth, and they're already talking about getting uh, money deposited in everybody's accounts, and universal incomes everywhere, get you locked down, locked in, where you're used to staying at home, doing nothing but just playing video games or watching movies and chilling. And all of a sudden, time out. You can keep doing that, by the way, but you need to get this mark in your right hand or your forehead to do it. They will jump all over it. And with vaccines coming up and all kinds of things happening, lots of interesting things, it's very, very amazing that everything is happening so fast. It's all tied in. The election's coming up here and no more conformity America. The world in record unrest and hatred and anger and evil and wickedness and perversion and filth everywhere. We are in the last moments of the last days of the age of the Gentiles. It's almost over. God's about to deal, have us raptured by his son, Jesus Christ, and he'll deal with his chosen people via the Abrahamic covenant, the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, get the Jews locked in, get them ready to go. A third of them will be saved, find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The Gentiles, including all the backslidden Christians who are left behind, have to fend for their own selves. They can still get saved, but the Holy Spirit will be gone for all intents and purposes. He's on the present. There'll be some, he'll, he'll be here, not in the capacity he is right now, living in our hearts. I can't imagine that. I could not survive a, a, a second of a day without him. Jesus Christ is all of our only hopes, my friends. That's the bottom line. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you daily. I love you all so much and look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. You fly soon. Share this video. I'm censored relentlessly across social media. I am hated. They're trying to ban me. God won't let anything happen unless you, it's his will. Love you guys so much. Take care. Share. Bye.